Good evening, everybody. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you this evening to the Nelson Carty Ford Memorial Art Gallery at WPAA Media Center. I am Josiah Houston. I am the current artistic director for WPAA TV and community media. And I have been charged with this amazing responsibility of taking the, the beginning that Nelson gave this space as a space for art and a space for exploration of different artistic visions and themes and carrying it forward in the name and the honor of his own artwork and artists that remind us of his greatness and of his mission to bring art on the local spectrum to the community from all around and, and share it forward. The reason we have that big beautiful tiger mural on the side of this building and the same reason we've had this amazing collection of photographs here for the last several years that we're so honored to still have here that we've tried to fill and decorate um, every nook and cranny of this space with artists that remind him of, remind us of Nelson's nuance and of his passion. So thank you so much for being here tonight with us, for enjoying some delicious food, for sharing some stories, and for talking about what inspires us as we enjoy the space of the various walkways of WPA TV. Thank you so much. It's the time to smile. It's the time to enjoy beautiful art around us. Expression, that's what art is, an expression of one's feelings, one's vision. Everything we see here. I think everyone who knows Nelson has the privilege and the opportunity to experience him and speaking with him and understanding his vision and what he meant. He'll be missed physically, but mentally and vision, he'll always be with us. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight and enjoy what you see. Robin, Herb, and the extended Poor Jackson family, thank you for letting me share a few words with you and others gathered to honor Nelson. Nelson was a connector. He cared about the communities where he lived and set about to improve them, whether it be in service to the country, social justice, or Wallingford. Contextually, I think you have to recognize that he was working in an environment of exceptionalism, where many people around him had already been trained to believe that those communities already had the best of everything and could not be improved. So think about the persistence required for him to continue to believe in the duality of the great promise of these communities while also working to make them better. Amen. Maya Lin, the sculptor who designed the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C., said, to fly, we have to have resistance. Well, Nelson, you made it a heck of a lot easier for others to fly. Believe that the purpose of God is to make us larger, freer, and more loving individuals. In that way, I believe that God most certainly worked through Nelson. So as we say to a life well lived, rest in peace, let us also recognize that this was someone who lived in peace and insisted on a future that worked for all of us. Having art in any space, let alone a community space, is super important. Because what is art if it isn't seen or appreciated or broken down and explained or analyzed? Like, art is made to be seen, art is made to be felt, and it has to have a venue to do so. Though I never met the artist, Nelson, these pictures were hanging up when I was doing my work here. They were works that I saw every day and learn about, even without having like an expressed interest in it. They were just here, so the interest was kind of like already set for me. So that, that's another valuable thing about having art in a space is that you don't know what you're going to discover until you discover it. It has to have a venue in order for it to be discovered. Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry that I'm so emotional. I was extremely close to my father. I'm the only child, and he was always my hero from day one. 
I was born into an artistic home. We always had art on the walls, no matter which house that we lived in. It was warm apple pie that my mom would make and my father enjoyed with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> and the first thing that we did after moving into a home, building our house here in Wallingford, was put art on the walls. I learned my talent from Nelson Ford, who was an astute student that hailed from Pear Art School. I don't care what they call it now, it was Pear Art School. <laughs> 1963, I was a child, and uh, I just remember all of the different artistic positions that he's had throughout his life, and always searching for a style, he would always confide in me, uh, Robin, I've got to find my style. I said, Dad, you already have a style. He never realized that a style is a frame of mind. And I'm so, so deeply honored to have you all here to share this wonderful privilege of sharing artwork and ideas, broadening our community through diversity and inclusion and just being wonderful in our town. I really appreciate each and every person for their thoughts, their prayers. Susan, you've been so amazing. She's had the privilege of knowing both my mother and my father. So I'm so honored to have her as a friend and Herb helping with she and Kurt to keep the station going. It's a diamond in this community. And to have a small space dedicated to my father is just pleasing. I know that he and my mom are just looking down with lots of love. May this place always be a comfort and a joy to every artist, whether it be fine art, photographic art, visual art, three-dimensional art. It's all beautiful perspective. And once again, I just want to thank you all for coming and joining uh, what's dedicated to my father. His name was Nelson Cartier. Ford, and he was born in 1934 in Portsmouth, Ohio. He hailed here uh, when he was 18 years old following his sister. He was the youngest child and the last to go. So they're all together now, sharing their artistic expression somewhere up there. <laughs> so thank you for this honor and privilege. I appreciate you all. been my honor and privilege to seek out work that that Cardi would love. Um, Cardi definitely was about trying to make the community more conversational and inclusive. Um, this piece right here, uh, Humankind both used it on a show for four years where we had a table with five seats and people just dropped in. They didn't know each other, they were perfect strangers. And at the end of that four year period, we kind of got interrupted by the pandemic, like most of life. And then it was harder to do on Zoom and it didn't have the same feel. And then it, so we want to bring that back in his honor as well. Um, but when we talked about these pieces here and a few others that were part of this collection that uh, we named um, bricks seeking words. Uh, Nelson always said they weren't finished because he never figured out what words to add to the bricks. But everyone who saw them said they spoke already volumes and there were no words needed. The people who were watching and looking at them would fill in their own words. And so that's why um, bricks seeking words is a powerful message because that's what we do here. We seek to have words 
make a difference and using art as part of that uh, opportunity. Susan Clenard's work, you'll see here at downstairs and upstairs, amazing. I wanted to fill the whole building with her. I, I don't know if they ever met. I don't know if she ever met uh, Nelson, but they would have really found a spiritual connection that is she's amazing, and it's my privilege to have included her. community of artists have kind of gathered around this project. When it's time for Nelson's pieces to leave us, this will be where we'll have some pieces transition in temporarily on a cycle. But until then, we're pleased <laughs> to keep Brick seeking words. And we're going to seek some more words. Would anybody else like to say a few as an artist who's part of the um, collection or as a person representing the town um, that has always been saying we don't have any art in Wallingford. So one of the great artists that is going to be um, in your experience this evening is a close friend of mine from the past who, when I saw the work he was making, especially during the pandemic and was uploading it online, he's been an artist for you know three decades at this point, but I, feel, I felt like the work that he was making was really connecting to the images of Nelson's that I had seen upstairs in the gallery that you'll see as well. There's one Nelson work upstairs, which is the Sistine Chapel reimagined, making an image that you're very, very familiar with and replacing the iconic figures with figures of a different race and having that same experience with that same work of art, but seeing it not from the perspective uh, that you're used to or that you are, um, find to be common in what you're looking for. When I saw Ayaba's work looking at the civil rights movement and looking at the, the idea of taking the exact same situation and just changing the dynamic and changing the races so that you could see the experience of what that moment was in a new light with a new context. His work from that period that he was making during uh, the pandemic really spoke to me and to us, and it really felt like that series would have find a wonderful home here in Nelson's memory, keeping a tie to the same type of work he was doing of changing perspectives and, and moving the uh, conversation forward. I, I'm not a public speaker in any, any sense of the word, um, but I'm but I'm honored that uh, uh, to be here, and I want to thank uh, Wallingford Public Television and Susan for uh, continually striving uh, for the community. And yeah, give her a hand. <laughs> a few years back, uh, Susan approached me on. Uh, having some photos put up and so forth and uh, she had seen my my work and uh, I was honored and when I come in and look at the photos on the wall I I kind of go you didn't take those <laughs> <laughs> you you you're not capable of doing that but uh, I when when people say oh I love your art and so forth and so on it I don't consider it, uh, for me anyways, I don't, I don't consider it art. Uh, I consider it an awareness of, of what's around me. And I find it difficult to walk down the street yeah. and turn my eyes when the, the wall there shows what's, what's out there. And uh, once again, uh, I'm, I'm honored to, to have my work uh, displayed, my awareness displayed. And uh, hopefully that uh, when you walk down the street and you see someone, the, the word would be compassion. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much.